guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming at you all with a wig customization and install. I will be installing this 5x5 five five lace closure wig from Mega Look Hair. They actually sent me this wig. Like y'all know, I usually don't wear like 5x5s, five five but so many of you all have been asking me to review a 5x5, five five, try a 5x5. Five five, so I was like, you know what? I might as well and I have tried Mega Look a few times and I just love them every time. So I'm going to link this wig in the description box but y'all it looks so pretty. I don't have any product in it but like look at that like it was just so easy to install this wig. I'm going to take you all through the steps with me. I hope you all enjoy this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany and let's get into it. So once again, this wig is from Mega Look. I'm going to link it in the description box, but it came in a nice little satin bag and it came with a couple of treats, you know, a wig cap, lashes, edge brush, just, you know, the whole nine. So this is a 26 inch loose wave wig and I was living for this curl pattern. It was thick all the way to the ends. And looking at the inside of this wig, it did not have any combs. Uh, so I was a little weary about that. Like I was just worried if this will fit on my head and it did you guys, it stretches a lot. So don't worry about that. And a uh, interesting thing about this wig is the lace is kind of already cut. So I didn't even cut the lace. So if you struggle with cutting your lace, you don't have to worry about it with this wig. So we are going to pluck this wig a little bit and get the hairline on the closure looking just a little more realistic. So one thing that was a little difficult since the lace is pre-cut is trying to get these pins in the wig while I'm trying to customize the wig. So you'll see me playing around with it a little bit. But I always have a spray bottle, my rat, tooth, my rat tooth comb, and tweezers for my wig plucking. So I wasn't sure if I was going to do a side part or middle part yet. So I just kind of didn't even do that until the install part. But firstly, when plucking a wig, I always like to just pluck that first row off. Like I just want it to be a variation of thickness and for it to just not be a straight line. So I'm kind of plucking, like pulling the hair straight back into the rest of the hair. So you all see it's kind of difficult to pull up with the lace cut off, but it's definitely possible. And since it's a five by five, it's not too hard to do at all. It's not gonna take too long or anything like that. But I'm just kind of plucking the hair back. You see me trying to play with the pins a little bit. Once I feel like I kind of got different textures and a ragged hairline a little bit, that's when I part the hair and actually pluck within the parted hair. Cause this is gonna kind of like thin it a lot more than just plucking at the front of the hairline. This is really going to get you the look you want. And once again, I'm just kind of pulling the tweezers straight back. So y'all see it's starting to come together a little bit. You're really gonna see it when I comb that front piece back. But I usually do bleach the knots before I do this, but I was just too excited, you guys. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I will be bleaching the knots next, you guys. To bleach the knots, I always just turn the wig inside out on the mannequin head for easy access to those knots. Very simple. And then of course, put the T-pins in there to keep the wig stable. Make sure you have all of the hair kind of behind the lace so you're not bleaching the hair unnecessarily. Yeah. 
So I did use BW2 powder and 40 volume developer, mix it together. I always use a butter knife because I like to treat bleaching knots like icing a cake. So I'm not working it all the way into the lace to make sure it doesn't seep into the hair or anything and actually bleach your hair. So I did leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. I was watching me a show. Um, and afterwards, I'm just gonna rinse it out and then I put on purple shampoo to kind of tone those knots and get any kind of brassy color out of those knots. And I also leave the purple shampoo on for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I let the wig dry and all of that and now it is time to install this wig. So first things first, I'm going to use some lace tinting spray and tint that lace, get it a little darker to match my skin tone. Um, I'm just gonna spray one layer on the lace and then I'm going to blow dry it to dry that lace tint up. Okay y'all, so let's get into actually installing this wig. Like it looks so beautiful right now. Y'all see putting that lace tint on just really made it match my skin tone. Like I feel like mm, it almost looks like I can wear this glueless, but nah, I like to have a little glue. I don't trust anything that much. But I'm trying to get my side part right. I decided I wanted to do a side part because I just don't do them a lot with curly wigs. Um, so I just had to play around with it. You know you want the nice little U shape. You don't want your side part to be too straight. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of put a little water in the hair and then hot comb it and just have it kind of molded to what I want it to be before I actually install it. You can of course do this before you put the wig on while you're customizing it. But like I said, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do just yet. And to actually lay my lace, I'm using the Eben Lace Spray, the black version. So you all see, I'm kind of using my finger to kind of guide the spray so it doesn't go down my makeup. But we're just gonna put a little spray on. It's only a five by five, so this is super easy. Put the spray on, blow dry the spray until it's clear. Put some more spray on, blow dry again. And the third time we put the spray on, we're actually going to try to lay that lace and put the wig where we want it to be. So after we put the wig where we want it to be, then that's when we're gonna blow dry for that final time. And I wanted to make my side part a little more prominent, so I took my tweezers and I started plucking some hair out of the part. Like, I'm just gonna go crazy plucking that hair. Like, I want a nice, thicker part. Like, I don't want it to be too thin. I don't really like thin parts. But I'm just gonna make sure I pluck a lot at the front area because I wanted that to be a little more thin because you know when you get a side part sewing, that part is a little thin. At least on my head, it's a little thinner. So I'm just gonna pluck in the part and make sure it's a little wider and more visible. And I am just obsessed with that little swoop of baby hair you have on the side part. Like I think it is just top tier. So I'm going to take out a little hair and create my little swoop on the side of my part. And to slick the edges down, I will be using the Argan Oil Snot and just an edge brush. Just make sure you don't get too much hair because nobody likes a super thick little baby hair swoop. Like it's supposed to be baby hair, you guys. But yeah, I was having problems. I like took out a little too much hair, but that swoop just gives, it eats every time. <laughs> and just like that, the install is practically done, you guys. I'm just gonna kinda wet the hair a little bit to get the curl pattern coming back because I did pluck this wig and I put it through so much stuff while I was trying to customize it, but 
I'm just brushing it out with an actual brush to kind of speed this up. And I still had like some loose hairs from when I did pluck the wig, but y'all, look at how those curls bounce back. Like it is giving. And then I'm gonna hit it with my Argan Oil Mousse to kind of just mold the hair and get it to do that little stand up thing because I don't like the front of my hair being too flat. So I use Argan Oil Mousse and the hot comb to kind of get I like the top flat, but I like that little arch at the top. This kind of like a little hump, you know, it just lays differently. And finally, just to make sure the part is giving what it needs to give, I'm going to go in with the Fawn LA Girl Pro Concealer and just make sure my part is just slayed. And that is it, you guys. Okay guys, so I finished installing this wig. Like, I don't know, five by five wigs kinda eat. Like, it was so easy, you guys. I installed this wig in like less than 10 minutes, to be honest. Like, it looks good. And this is 26 inches, and I actually really, really like this length. So, mm, I'm a little shook, I'm a little shook, okay. Uh, but this wig is from Mega Look. I'm going to link it in the description box. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.